Will Walden's racing stable got off to a fast start in 2022 and they wrapped up the year with their very first stakes winner. We stopped by their barn at Turfway Park and spoke with a few members of the team, which is made up of a group of six men all working together as they recover from substance abuse. I've worked in a, in a lot of racing barns and, and this one's kind of unique in and of itself just because this is all recovery based and oriented. These guys were homeless. They were uh, in jail cells. You know, I, I went through it myself, uh, 12 years of addiction and, and alcoholism and, and really what it is, is it's just giving guys a second chance. Horses are therapeutic, you know what I mean? Most of these guys have never touched a horse because of where they came from, their hunger for a purpose and a drive in life, um, these horses give that to them. So I've been sober a little over two years and I'd say 90% of me being sober was, was around horses. So on the days that it was hard for me to find God, the horses were there. Never in a million years did I think that I'd actually be riding horses for a living. So I started out hot walking just like uh, anybody does. Um, when we got here, I started packing, and then actually about two or three weeks ago, Will, uh, Will asked me if, uh, if I want to run the shed row. I've got maybe, what, five months of experience with horses right now, so still brand new, still learning a lot. The year's going, I mean, <laughs> better than expected. We were 21% on the year as a stable, 50% uh, in the top three. And uh, we were fortunate enough last month to get our first stakes victory with Kate's Kingdom. The credit goes to this team. They show up every single day, they show up multiple times a day, and they break their back for these horses and in turn these horses go out and break their back for them. We're just, uh, we're super grateful with the 15 we have now, and uh, we're gonna do everything we can to, to, to get them in the winner's circle to make them successful. It's just the, the connection that you can have with the horses, because like if you really don't feel like dealing with human beings that day, you go in grooming a horse, you know what I mean? Like, and I know they're listening. I can feel it. I can see it in their eyes. I feel like with this, like I can finally feel like I can be in the moment. And that's, that's precious to me. The group dynamic, I'd love to tell you it's super professional. <laughs> it's not, I mean, it is. These guys are very serious about what they do and, and they're very serious about their jobs. I, I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you I about bent to my knees laughing once a day in the shed row. That energy and just love that we have for these horses, you know, it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's contagious. Me personally, I would do this for free. If you just fed me and gave me a few horses to ride, you ain't gotta pay me, don't tell me that. We enjoy life today. Uh, we enjoy each other's company, we enjoy each other's mentorship. And I, I swear, these horses just kind of respond to it. You know, I know these horses, they rely on us, you know what I mean? Because there is no, shed row unless you know if this group of guys makes a decision to go do what they used to do these you know i mean there is no will walton racing sobriety is our number one thing and then the care of these horses is number two our addiction and alcoholism is no longer this eyesore on our life it's something it's now where it was you know the sword that pierced us it's now the sword we fight with and as long as people understand that that's the background we come from we can help people that's why I do this today um, with Will, because we get all these uh, new guys coming in and that's what it's all about. It's not about me anymore. It's about, it's about these guys that are coming in. At the end of the day, when I lay my head down, I know that I have tried and done my best to help and benefit these guys in their careers. So never in a million years would I think that I'd be where I'm at today, being trusted with, you know, with these guys and these horses. And so it's just, it's been a, it's been a heck of a journey. It really has. Yes.